Hey guys, welcome to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimczewski with Adam Atkinson, and we're gonna start a new series today. And it's gonna be all about health condition BS. Uh, Adam, I get a lot of questions from clients, and I know I hear from you a lot, questions that you get from clients. And there is always going to be, I believe, this pervasive part of the industry which is completely non-medical. And so there's a lot of fear and a lot of just misinformation. And I want to say right up front that as we talk about some of these, quote, conditions and theories, some people are just absolutely harmful, horrible people purveying all kinds of bad information. Others have really good intentions and they wish they were helping people. But if, if you didn't go to medical school, this is not a place for you to be uh, providing this kind of information. And so we're going to go through these one at a time, Adam. The first one being adrenal fatigue. So a coach or somebody, some alternative health practitioner, I say loosely, uh, tells a client that they have adrenal fatigue. What, what are the symptoms? First of all, I'm, I'm going to explain why that's not a thing, but, but tell me what symptoms make people think they have this dreaded disease. Yeah, a lot of people, the the symptoms, I will say, of adrenal, what we describe as adrenal fatigue or, you know, being tired, um, brain fog. Um, but these are pretty standard things when you're in contest prep. So you can see how this can be a really easy um, sale for a, um, well, dare to say, practitioner. But um you know, it really is just being drained, tired, um, maybe not recovering well. And instead of throwing a lot of medicine at it, <laughs> you know, sleep is free. Um, rest days from the gym are free. Um, you don't really need all this BS that people are trying to sell you. And I just see that term thrown around. There's actually a great systematic study that we can link in the podcast below where it actually goes through tons of medical archives. And just if you type in like adrenal fatigue, burnout, um, all these different um, sources that should lead to uh, actual case of adrenal fatigue, medically, it just does not exist. Yeah, and I'm glad you went right to sleep. First of all, you said don't waste your time or money on medicine. There's no medicine, but you will walk out with a couple hundred bucks worth of supplements, people giving you all kinds of vitamins. And uh, to your point, Adam, uh, I mean, true, if you could even call it adrenal fatigue, uh, comes from you know potentially seeing cortisol levels elevated, which takes a blood test. Uh, it can it can be other areas of maybe your immunity starting to heighten a little bit. White blood cell count could come up a little bit. All for the reasons you said, Adam, you're just physically exhausted. And the number one thing that affects your health more than anything else ever is sleep. If you want to damage your body, reduce your immunity, hurt your ability to recover, increase your chance of even getting cancer, then don't sleep. Uh, you know, but if you're getting seven, eight hours of sleep a night as a discipline, and you mentioned even just taking a day off in the gym once in a while, maybe you have to reduce your output, increase calorie intake for a little bit of time, diet break, you know, that's how you address this, but it's not a medical condition. No, and I think a lot of people in Canada where there's a lack of medical attention, um, at least on a fast spectrum. I'm seeing a lot of that where people are going to, unfortunately, what we'll call alternative medicine, but this should be the last alternative. It actually shouldn't even be an alternative to begin with, but unfortunately, people need to be seen fast, and there's like a six-month waiting list, so um, this is where I've seen a lot of this attention come about. So what I'd like to do, uh, when we start our next episode, I want to I start right there where we address exactly what this is, alternative medicine, complementary medicine, and, and why it has become so pervasive. So uh, you guys hang with us, and we're going we're gonna to go through a myriad of actual conditions and, and diagnoses, quote unquote, that are bantered around that may or may not exist. We'll talk, talk about that. So uh, we'll see you in the next episode here in the series on uh, health condition BS.